Okay, so this is my recipe for completely vegan, if you want it to be, yam curry, yams with curry sauce. So you're going to slice your, peel your yams and slice them about that thick. So you can see that's about three quarters of an inch thick. And then you're going to chop them into uh, about one inch squares, maybe a little less than one inch. Now, of course, because they're round, they're going to be a lot smaller pieces than all being one inches, but that's okay because those will just disintegrate and thicken the sauce. But then you want to put them in a boiling pot of water or put them in water and let them boil and just keep checking them. You want to uh, stir them occasionally and then when as you're stirring them you'll feel when they start to get tender and then you want to uh, take it out when the bigger pieces are uh, able to put a fork through them but not overcooked. Okay, so this is what you're going to use to make your um, your uh, curry sauce. You're going to use for every two cups, you're going to use a half a cup of turmeric. I mean, a half a cup. For every two cups, you're going to use a half a teaspoon of turmeric, a half a teaspoon of celery salt, a half a teaspoon of ginger half a teaspoon of onion powder, and a half a teaspoon of cardamom. And then we're going to cook it in coconut oil, and we're going to thicken it with nutritional yeast. Oh, and a teaspoon of curry powder. Again, that's for every two cups. Okay, so we're going to drain all of this well. That got all fogged up. And I have eight cups, so for the eight cups, I've already melted a tablespoon for every two cups, right? So that's four tablespoons of the coconut oil. Okay, as soon as your oil is hot enough that it's doing that, when you drop one in, drop everything in. Coconut oil you can bring it to a pretty high temperature, so don't worry about the heat. And then you're just going to stir that around so you coat everything and kind of simmer it a little. As you stir it around, you're going to see some of these are going to stay like chunks and others are going to like turn into mashed potatoes. You want to might add a little salt and pepper to taste here as well. Okay, then you're going to put in uh, one can of coconut milk for every four cups of uh, this is coconut milk. Uh, coconut milk for each, um, and you're gonna get that liquefied. Okay, so just turn down the heat and just let it simmer for a little while, just, just in the coconut milk, just for a few minutes, and then you're gonna add all the ingredients that you put together for your curry. Once the milk is all milky. Just put it all right in there. Stir it up. Mmm, -hmm, smells so good. Now let that cook down for a while. And then we'll add our nutritional yeast. And you might want to add some salt and pepper. So far we're 100% vegan. I mean it's going to be 100% vegan, but of course instead of using nutritional yeast you could use a little flour. You put a, about two tablespoons of this. I would say only put one tablespoon of flour. Um, and then of course if you don't want to use the coconut oil you could use butter or vegetable oil. But the only thing that would make it uh, not gluten-free is if you put wheat in it. And of course, if you use regular milk instead of coconut milk, then it wouldn't be vegan. But it uh, tastes good too. Okay, so that's what it looks like when it's done. Nice and thick and gooey. I put in two tablespoons of, uh, of the nutritional yeast. And if you don't want it that um, thick, you could leave out the nutritional yeast. I hope this is coming through clear because it looks 
out of focus. I don't know. And uh, then you're gonna make some kind of grain to put it over. This is quinoa, or you could put it over rice. Or if you're not gluten free, you could put it over, you know, even some kind of noodles or something. But I would think rice or quinoa or couscous. We had it with couscous once. It was great. Couscous is not gluten free. But um, you see, you still got chunks of potatoes, but a lot of potato broke down and became a nice thick sauce. And of course you're going to salt and pepper to taste. It really doesn't need any salt and pepper. Of course you have all that seasoning. I also put in some uh, crushed cay some cayenne pepper if you want it a little spicy. And uh, that's about it. Enjoy.